Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This short video is to let you know there is a new firmware for your multi-protocol module. It's version 1.3.2.30. Now let's go and have a look at the computer and just see what's updated here. So we are going to go into here. You can see it was released eight hours ago. There is a, a new protocol on the M-Link. There is, they've done some adjustments to MT99XX and the WFly2. Banyang, they've done some adjustments. On the FreeSky receiver, they've added a sub-protocol. And with the Futaba SFHSS, they've done a fixed failsafe with reversed and not having the right range. So that wasn't quite, that's quite a good fix. And they've also done something to the DSM. They fixed a low power, which was not set correctly after a reboot. So there we go, there's the adjustments. There's quite a few in this version. Now let's go and have a look. Let me quickly show you how to uh, download this firmware. We go to this website, www.multi-module.org. Then we need to go to firmware download. And then it's a simpler case of picking whichever your module is. So we, let's go for the, uh, let's have a look at the Radio Master by current radio there we go and then we need to go over to here. you can see it's the when it's first released it wasn't a stable release so I didn't put a video out straight away I'm only going to release when it's a stable release so it's the latest release it's picked everything from the firmware version module type and radio type it's for us now my channel mapping is AETR and then all we do is we go down and download this file and this one I don't, let's click on this one, I'll show you again. We don't need this one with the TX16S radio. And we would download those, and then I've got a video that shows you how to update your, your multi-protocol module within your radio. If you're using the, let's go and have a look here. If you're using the Radio Master TX12, you can see that's it's the CC2500 chip. If we click there, you can see it only down, it don't, downloads the correct version for you. So there we go. I've updated all three of my radios with no problems at all. Everything went uh, hunky-dory, so you can go ahead and, and download yours and update it. You don't necessarily need to update your module every time, but I tend to do it uh, because there could be adjustments that uh, you need to have in there. Um, so I would do it every time. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Bye.